sickle cell disease is no doubt is a hemoglobinopathy. Uh, here, RBC's shape is changed from sphere and flexible to RBC become sickle shape or C shape. So this type of RBC are more sticky, hard and rigid uh, surface. So they become clumpy and clumpy because of clumpiness, they obstruct the blood vessels and because of blockage, there are symptoms or manifestation of sickle cell disease. It is a genetic disorder. The inheritance is autosomal recessive. So that means that both the parents are carriers of the mutation. So a child has a possibility of inheriting sickle cell disease if both the parents are carriers. The family can have children who are normal or carriers. There's only a 25% chance that a couple who are both carriers will have a child who is affected with sickle cell disease. So carriers are normal and that makes it very difficult for people to know if they are a carrier or not just by looking at themselves. You have to do a special blood test. The classic blood test is called an HPLC. It is a test that tells you if you have the variation of the uh, um, gene that leads to sickle cell anemia. Uh, there are now some very easy point of care kits that are also available. So many patients can get the test done locally. When we talk about the sickle cell disease, yes, definitely there are some early signs so that we can identify the disease manifestation. First of all, easy tiredness or you can say fatigueness. Because of anemia or hypoxia, child usually tired during physical activity or day-to-day -day life. Second one, is, second one is pallor, means anemia. Due, due to restrictions of red blood cell, there is a deficiency of hemoglobin and lifespan is short in sickle cell disease patient because of uh, their rigid and uh, uh, hard surface they destruct very early normal red blood cell lifespan is around 120 days but in sickle cell disease patient lifespan of red blood cell decrease from 10 to 30 or 14 days if a child is affected with sickle cell disease the parents will often see in the baby that the child can have pain uh, will cry inconsolably, may have recurrent fevers, uh, may have a protuberant abdomen, may be pale. So these are some of the common features that we see in a young child. Yes, definitely we can do. Uh, first of all, we are doing antenatal screening in pregnant lady, whether pregnant lady is uh, having sickle cell trait or disease symptoms or not. If we want to identify this sickle cell disease in fetus, we can go for chorionic venous sampling or amniocentesis in around 12 to 13 weeks of gestation so that we can identify whether in utero fetus is suffering from sickle cell disease or not. So first of all is hydration. So we always talk to the patients that you maintain your hydration, always carry your water bottle with you. Because if you maintain hydration, there are less chances of clumping of red blood cell or destruction. Because in case of dehydration, for example, in case of very uh, summer or in humid, there is a possibility of dehydration is there. Any uh, painful conditions or any stressful condition, there is a possibility of dehydration. So always maintain hydrations by giving more and more plenty of liquids. Then second one is if any child is suffering from painful crisis, then we have to manage this painful crisis or we can say in medical term is vaso occlusive crisis or VOCs by giving, by giving hydrations, pegged RBC, treat infection by giving antibiotic if required. Then, if drug of choice for sickle cell disease is hydroxyurea. So, these hydroxyurea act by increasing fetal hemoglobin and less availability of hemoglobin to convert into the sickle cell. So, these are the uh, primarily options for sickle cell disease management. Apart from that, we are giving folic acids. Then, we are giving calcium vitamin D3, multivitamins, 
and besides the treatment so prevention is also better and some prophylactics is also better so some immunizations against uh, some prevention of the sickle cell disease infection for example pneumococcal conjugate vaccine meningococcal conjugate vaccine h influenza type b vaccines so these are the uh, vaccinations we are providing uh, for prophylaxis and penicillin prophylaxis is a drug we are giving to the children to prevent recurrent infection regular monitoring is required all patients with sickle cell disease may not have exactly the same severity of the disease patients who have more symptoms should definitely visit their doctor more frequently usually we recommend that once the treatment has been started you should visit your doctor at least every 3 months One of the myths I think is that people feel that hydroxyurea is not required for all patients which is not true all all persons with sickle cell disease should be on hydroxyurea if patients have mild symptoms then low dose hydroxyurea is sufficient in some persons who have more severe disease they may need higher doses of hydroxyurea or they may even need other treatments Yes, definitely. Government is very serious about this. Our honourable Prime Minister has launched the sickle cell elimination program, and in July 2023, India has launched this elimination program. Our goal is to eliminate this sickle cell disease in India by 2047. As of now, around 5.7 crore people have been screened for sickle cell disease, and this is. almost we have covered more than 75% of target of our 3 year there are many things being done including screening to help identify uh, carriers as well as those who are suffering from sickle cell disease medicines are being made available at the block hospital and even at the phc and definitely at the district hospitals and other treatments like blood transfusions etc are also being provided so a lot of work is being done as well as a lot of work on awareness So my message to the patients is that they should take their treatment regularly and visit their doctor to reduce the complication and also the families who are aware of what is sickle cell disease they should help to create awareness in the community once our community is aware about this they will go for testing and we can identify other carriers to help to control and prevent this disease there should be no stigma and no negative thoughts about this disease people inherit uh, sickle cell disease through their genes and nobody has any control over this it's just an accident so let's all work together to control sickle cell anemia